So this embarrassing story actually takes place in middle school. It was eighth grade, and during the eighth grade, I was I was a bigger kid, I guess you could say. I was uh, a little more on the chubby side. Wow, what the fuck? I was more on the chubby side, so obviously I'm not I'm not gonna be nearly as coordinated as uh, some of the other kids, I suppose you could say. All I remember is I was walking to class, I think it was near the end of the day if it wasn't me leaving school, because I remember my last class in the 8th grade, I was always on the top floor. And this never changed going into the second semester, which absolutely sucked, because being a fat kid and climbing stairs, just or even going downstairs, it wasn't a strength of mine. I mean, how can you find strength out of that? Especially with missing literally 5 kills right there, and I still suck, and I got a triple. All right, continuing on. So obviously being the tubbier kid or the chubbier kid or the kid who just couldn't handle all his snicker bars in one hand to walk down the stairs, he, he would have trouble, you know, breathing while walking up and down the stairs. So obviously I'm huffing and puffing and I still huff and puff walking upstairs. And let's be realistic here. Walking up a flight of stairs is literally the equivalent to running a marathon, it seems to me, when I'm at school. Literally, I can walk up my stairs right outside my door and I can be perfectly fine. And then all of a sudden I get to school and get God damn, it's like I just ran the marathon against Usain Bolt trying to get the fastest time in the world. I think that was a pretty solid analogy at least. So like I said, I'm coming from the top floor now at this point, and I'm not really paying attention, and I get to the second flight of stairs, and wow. All I can say is, wow, my my dumbass takes a big tumble. And when I mean big tumble, I mean, first off, I'm big at this time. Second off, I mean, I tumbled down those stairs like it was a tumbling class for your basic bitch of a girlfriend. Yeah, I called out your girlfriend. What are you going to do? I, I'm joking. I don't really mean that. Don't take that into any offense. But continuing on from where I was, so my big tumbling, rumbling dumbass decides, hey, let me also take down a girl with me while I'm on my way down because I can't go out solo here I who wants to fall down the stairs alone no one no one wants to do anything alone to begin with but falling down stairs I personally know I would not be I, I wouldn't want to be alone in that situation so I'm flying down these stairs on my rolling tumbly looking roly-poly stupid head ass rolling down these stairs and I take out the sixth grade girl and I literally land on top of her and I was just like Oh no, this this just this is my day. Not my day. Not my day. Need to go home, have me some bagel bites, and go to bed. I just want to say word to John Cena. This girl did not see me coming from a mile away when I hit her. And poor girl. Just poor girl. I feel so terrible for her. Like, she had to deal with the wrath of me basically RKOing her with my fat rules. And that that at that age, for six grader who's probably like 12 at this time not even 12 i would say like 11 is the average sixth grader like age for an eighth grader my size i was a 180 pound eighth grader and no it wasn't muscle i wasn't swole i well i i was swole but swole in instead of swole i lose my backpack in this tumble she drops all her stuff and i land on top of her and i literally crushed the soul out of her basically like i would Say I'm the person, you know, who just finished a can of Coke or something. Then I'm like, yo, let me let me crush this bottle down to uh, bottle can while I'm at it too. And shit, I'm the foot, she's the can, and I just I crushed her cans. That sounds really, really fucking wrong. Wow, I apologize. And after I landed on her and she dropped all her stuff and I dropped my stuff. Um, I picked my stuff up and I sprinted. I swear you've never seen anyone move so fast. Imagine just seeing Fat Albert running the 40 time. That's basically what I was doing to get to my bus before any of my friends, anyone could even stop me from like, yo, oh, yo you fell on top of that girl, you fell down the stairs. Like, nah, I cannot let that happen. My reputation as being the funny fat kid could not go to the clumsy fat kid. I'm not having that happen. I just have too strong of a reputation to allow that to happen. So I hope you guys did enjoy the life story today. Obviously, one of the more embarrassing ones I've ever told on my channel, as well as one of the more embarrassing stories I've even ever had occur to me and it was not a fun day let's just say i went home had me my bagel bites and i had my nap and just i i cruised on with the rest of my day also quick word before i end this video i'm gonna be making a fitness video it's actually gonna be a home workout video for you guys since i've seen a lot of people asking for them so i decided hey why not do it for you guys so i'm gonna be making that tonight so I hope you guys are expecting to see that sunday hopefully i'm gonna try recording all of that stuff by tonight and uh, hopefully all goes well and you guys do learn something out of it. So once again, it's been your boy Corey here, or Cole Ace, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. Peace. All right. Never, never, ever do that outro. Just.
don't, don't, just don't. I'd rather you, bye.